everyone and welcome to my channel. To learn a code is like learning a new language, like people are learning language to communicate with each other. So if you want to give instruction to a computer, first you need to learn a programming language. There are different coding languages and each of them has different rules. So from now on, we're going to start coding in Python. There are some reasons why children should learn Python. Python is simple and fun. While children are learning to code in Python, their creativity is increasing. Python is used Google, Amazon and in other high techs. Tons of libraries for applications and networking. So if you want to learn to code in Python, Stay with me. So now we're going to write our first program in Python using replit.com editor. So first you need to create your account. I have already created one. And then you need to just click create button. And here it will ask you which template you want for of course we're going to choose python and there it's title i'm just going to write your name and create ripple so our first ripple is creating so let's wait until it's ready and it's ready and here we're going to write our code one of the most used lines of code in python is print function we use it everywhere. At its core, the print function is used when we want to output a string. A string is a collection of characters, or what we know as text. So let's print hello world. First we need to type here print. And then in parentheses we need to write here hello world world and that's all that we need to do and let's run it and you see in the console part here appeared hello world comments are piece of code that do not get translated by the computer it's like a piece of code that you want the computer to ignore it so to write a comment first you need to put hashtag and then Whatever is written after that is colored and you will understand that this is a comment. For example, hello world. And you see that it's a comment and it's not being translated by the computer. So let's run it. So it's just like for us to understand what we have written in this whole program. So let's talk about variables what is a variable variable in python are used by programmers to store values a variable can store lots of different types of information a variable has two parts name and value to create a variable you write the variable name then an equal symbol followed by the variable value so let's create a variable for example cool equals some it's like we have created a variable it's a variable cool equals seven so for example if now we write print cool so let's see what's going to happen Hello world 7. So you just print the value of the cool. So the 7 is the value of the cool. So now let's start writing our first program. So let's delete it all. So first we're going to write a comment. First we're going to write hashtag sign. And then let's write your name. And let's create a variable named name. 
name equals input parenthesis what is your name so you may ask what means input input is what you want the computer to ask from us and it's going to equal the name variable and now let's make for example print parenthesis hi comma name so let's see what this no i made a bug over here so you see the string this is not used to be here. It should be here. So if we wrote it in double quotes, it's just going to print high name. So I made it out of the quotes. So now it's going to work. So let's see what we have done. Syntax error. Invalid syntax. So it's congratulations. You have made your first syntax error so here i just made a mistake here i should put a comma instead of space so let's run it what is your name my name is re not hi not so this is our first program in replic.com and this is used by the python so you see i just wrote what is your name what is your name is input function in the name and it just printed my name because i wrote what is the name variable and it just printed the name variable with the high so this is very cool so you can change or make it your own so this was our first program in python so let's see you in the next lecture bye bye